now that we've worked really hard to get everything done, we can now reveal our design. So let's go. Hi everybody, it's Kelly from Let's Get Clacking. And in today's video, we're going to go over something that has been requested by many, many people. And that is one of the Spotify songboard posters. Now this is something that's making its rounds at the moment. It has been for the past few months. And it is essentially a picture as well as what looks like the song playing down at the bottom and is usually perfect for a anniversary gift or something like that. Luckily, it's really easy to make and I've even prepared some templates for you to use. Those will be available on my shop for free. Find the download link in the description. There are only a few things that you'll need for this tutorial. You're going to need some perspex. You can have either an A4 or an A5 and you peel the backing off either side of the perspex to have the perspex showing through. You will also need some black outdoor glossy vinyl as well as some white sticker paper. You can use glossy or matte although glossy tends to look, look a little bit nicer and you can get this from Snippy Sisters. I'll also share a link in the description below. Snippy Sisters sells both of these items so you can kill two birds with one stone. Then of course, because we're going to be working with vinyl, you'll need your transfer tape too. There are a few bits of information that you'll need, as well as a photo to print onto the sticker paper, but we'll go over that during the tutorial section. Well, let's get clacking! I have my templates open. Um, there's two different types of templates that I've made. One is one without the Spotify Scan logo, and the other one is the one with the Spotify Scan logo. So essentially what happens here is when you open Spotify, you can search for a song and you can click the camera icon and you can scan this logo and it'll bring the song up on your phone. What I will also be doing is to show you how to get the Spotify logo on both your computer as well as your cell phone um, because the processes are slightly different on the two devices. So let's start with the computer. I have the Spotify app installed on my computer and I'm going to open it. So this is the home screen, what you see when you go open the app. Um, and this is obviously showing up in my recent searches because it's what I've recently been looking for. But if you want to um, see the actual process, you just type in the name, it'll bring the song up, then click on the song name, and it'll then open the song in the album. Now from here, you'll be able to click on these three little dots, and then you can go to share. And then it'll bring up a whole host of options, and you click on Spotify code. All right, and then it'll bring up the screen. So now what I did here was I then took a screenshot or if you don't have green shots installed on your computer, you can use capture. By clicking on the start, uh, you can even type in cap or snipping tool. All right, it'll then open snipping tool. You can click on new and then you can just, I mean, you don't have to screenshot the whole thing. You literally just need this section. So you can do that and then it should be on your clipboard already. So you can open Silhouette Studio and paste it there. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. The one challenge with doing it this way is that you won't be able to trace the white straight away. So what I tend to do um, is you go to the image effects panel, go to invert the colors, and then you put the inversion from naught to 100 so that all the lights become dark and all the darks become light. Now you'll see it is black and you'll be able to perfectly trace it now. Then we go to the tracing panel, select trace area, you can just trace that area there. I like to make this a little bit bigger so that I can see what I'm doing. That across a little bit. You can trace it just like this, but that doesn't look quite nice. So what I tend to do is I tend to reduce the threshold so that it brings that logo up clearer. So that's probably okay at about 18. And then you click trace. Now, if you have to do trace outer edge, it would pick up all of these, but this would be a solid circle because it wouldn't trace anything on the inside. Um, and trace and detach can also work but then you've got to trace it again so you might as well just click trace you can even delete the background image and there you have your spotify logo and it's ready to cut because those are cut cutting lines um, you can fill it with black so that you can see what it'll look like and let's zoom out a little bit so that we can then see what it'll look like now this is pretty much exactly the same as what i have here um just need to make sure that the sizing is correct so i'm going to leave these on the templates um, so that you can get the sizing correct. If you want it to be like this, if you want it to be smaller, you can obviously change the sizing. It's completely up to you. But if the sizing is is aesthetically pleasing, obviously if you wanted to edit some elements, you're welcome to. This is just a great starting point. So I'm just going to delete that because I already have it here. When getting the code from your mobile phone, you're going to go to the Spotify app. You're going to go to the search tab and we're going to search the song. 
Okay, so the song is already there, but I want to show you what it looks like from the search screen. Okay, so we can then click on the three dots on the right hand side um, and then it'll open up the song um, and you can see there is already the Spotify code. So you can take a screenshot here um, and then share it from your from the screen to many, you know, through many different ways. Obviously, this will look different depending on what phone you have. But you can send this via email, you can upload it to Drive, send it to somebody else on WhatsApp if you want to. If you're sending it via WhatsApp, it'll compress the image, which means that the quality might not be as good. So if you upload it to your Drive or email it to yourself, it'll be a very high quality photo. The trace will actually come out better than what it will be on your desktop. So I tend to do that um, just to try and not compromise the image quality. And then once you're done with this, you know, then you can kind of carry on with the next steps in the process. And then when we get the image, you can do it two ways. You can bring in an image from your computer. As an example, let's take this photo. It's a very high quality photo, so it's really big. Um, let's reduce that size a little bit. Make that a bit bigger. So you can see that, let's just bring this to the front. Um, so you can see as an example, if you didn't want all of the outside of the image, you could just do that and you could just have the hands. Then you can select the image and the box. You can go to the modifier panel and click crop and then it'll crop the image to be exactly that size. The other way you can do it is if you have the image open, you can actually drag it into Silhouette Studio, but drag it into the box. So then it already crops the image for you and brings it into the size of the box that you want. Now what you'll do from here, if you don't like where the image is in the box, you can go to the fill panel, open up the fill pattern setting, open the drop down for advanced options, and you can scale the image. So you can zoom right the way in, right the way out, and then it'll tile. Um, if you don't like where the pattern is, you can then pan the pattern. So you move that around, you can move it around in there. I find this a slightly easier way of handling the images as opposed to bringing it in, resizing it, cropping, then moving everything around. And this allows you a little bit more freedom in terms of how you want the image to be. There's actually another photo that I want to use, so I'm going to bring that one in um, and bring that in there and then I'm going to edit the photo. So I'm going to do exactly what I was talking about early on where you pan the pattern. All right, do that. I want it zoomed out a little bit more. I think I want to do it just like that. So this is a good indication of what it will look like. And the way that I've set up this template, when you want to change the name of the song, because obviously this, this is the song that I want to have on my Postbex sheet. So I've found a font that's almost identical to the one in Spotify. And you can actually just edit them here. So you can just change the name of the song um, and of the band. This, I've actually made interactive. So as an example, if you want to move it up, if you want to have the, the button right at the front of the song, then you can. And another little element that I've added onto my Spotify song card is, so obviously this is a photo from my wedding. Um, it's my favorite photo from the wedding. Uh, it's even, you know, in a massive poster above our bed. And 504 was the exact time that we exchanged rings and we actually got married on the 24th of September. So 9.24. Uh, obviously I can't have 24.9 because that just looks a bit strange. So it's the 24th second of the ninth minute. Um, so it works on the 24th day of the ninth month kind of thing. That's just an additional touch that you can add to your music sheets. Um, I think it kind of personalizes it a little bit more. Um, and especially when it comes to clients, I think they would really appreciate those tiny little extra touches. So next up, I like to keep that as it is. Um, so I'm going to copy the, the picture, open a new page, put it there, and then I'll print that. So I highlight all of these elements. Open up a new doc so that I can cut them. And I put them right up into the top just so that I can cut the elements. Then what you can do here is you can turn on your weeding lines as well. So you turn on your weeding lines, horizontal and vertical, just to help you to weed things a little bit easier, especially when it comes to these numbers, they're very small, so they may be difficult to work with. And by turning the weeding lines on, you make your life just a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to load this onto my Cameo. Um, we're gonna cut this, I'm going to print off this picture. I'll probably just cut this with my Fiskars 
cutter um, because it's just four straight lines so I'm not even going to bother with print and cut or anything like that and then we will see you on that side when we're weeding. <laughs>
but I'm pretty sure my husband won't mind. <laughs> Now that we've worked really hard to get everything done, we can now reveal our design. So, let's go. <sighs> wow. I think it looks stunning. And obviously, if you wanted to do this with clear Perspex, you totally could. Um, I really like the frosted look. I think it just gives it a little bit of something extra. And then, we can take our phones, scan the song, and then it'll play for us. And obviously, we've got the time that we were married, the date that we were married, and my favorite wedding photo. And of course, if you're gonna be using reverse weeding, then you won't have this where the letters kept lifting up, which was a bit of a pain, so they're not all 100% level. I really need to get into the habit of using reverse weeding, especially for small things like this. And when it comes to much smaller designs as well, you might want to increase the font, make it a little bit bigger um, so that you don't have these kinds of problems. I'm okay with it being a little bit up and down, as that's what marriage is all about. Little ups and downs. <laughs> well, thanks very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching me make the Spotify music poster. Um, obviously, you can use any kind of song that you want on this, whether it's just a, a song that you like, or as an example, a song that you walk down the aisle to, or the client walked down the aisle to, or whatever the case may be, or their first dance song, whatever kind of song that they might like. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. On this side, you'll be able to subscribe to my channel and on this side, YouTube will show my latest video and just below that, something they think that you'll enjoy. Until next time, everybody, be kind to someone. Bye.